the first thing you want to do, my friends, is guess what? You want to charge it. How do I charge it? <coughs> Using my computer, my desktop. Here's my computer. Here's my desktop. Okay, I use this right here. Let me show you. This cable that you charge your phone with, Class C. Okay, on the very end right here, my friends, is the class where you plug it in with your USB Class C. Plug it in right here on the left side, and that will charge this uh, power uh, jump starter. It, when I first bought it, it took about 30 minutes to hour. You can charge it from your car using that center slot. It's that little center hole right there. You can charge it with 12 volts from your car. That slot right there, USB slot on the far right, is out. That's out power to charge your cell phone and stuff like that. It's a little 5 volt output for your uh, phones. The little center hose, 12 volts to charge this uh, lithium jump starter from your uh, socket, cigarette lighter socket from your car. Plug and charge right there. Or you can use the Class C. And when it's charging, this is what it looks like. There's the battery. When it's charging, it'll go from here to here. And when all four of these lights up white, it is fully charged. It will turn off on its own. And let's go outside and let me show you how to jump start a car. And what I would like to say, I think it came with the Clan C cable. And it comes with a little 12 volt uh, car adapter to charge it from the car. Let's go outside and I will show you. Also, my friends, you can bring it out to your like utility room or whatever. And you can charge it out here. As you can see, you can charge it right here on the very end. <clears throat> Same way you charge it in the, in the house and on your computer. You can charge it in right there on the left side using Clan C cable. You can run it to your receptacle 110 using a 5 volt 2 amp charger. Alright, well, let's go outside and I'll show you how it jumps and starts the car. And before I go out there, as you see when it's charging, it goes all the way down here. And when the fourth bar completely lights up, when all four of these is white, it's fully charged. And it will turn off on its own. When it's fully charged, it will turn off on its own for 110. I'm not sure about in the car. Alright, let's go to the car. But before we go to the car, I would like to point out one thing. <clears throat> when you're not charging the unit, okay, and down this little flap, you can just close it. Just close it. All you do is you just push it shut. On the end here is your uh, flashlight, and also it's emergency flasher. That's the flashlight. You push it one time, it turns the flashlight on. Then you push it again, and it turns the flasher on. To turn it off, just push and hold. To turn it on, push it one time. And, I mean, you turn it on, you push and hold it, and it turns the flashlight on on end. Push this flash, this light button one time, hold it, it turns the flashlight on. If you push it again, it will turn the flasher on, emergency flasher, when you can use on the side of the road. All right, that's where your clamps go. Let's go outside, and I'll show you how to hook it up to a car. And I have jump-started uh, up to about 12 cars already, and it says that you can jump-start up to 35 vehicles. I know for sure this is a good jump-starter. I've had it now about a year. Also, you can charge this jump starter using the same, like a Class C cable, like I said, from inside the house. Right here on the left side, you can hook a Class C cable, like you charge your phone, same cord that you use on the phone. You can hook it to your 12 volt auxiliary plug in your car. Right here, the cigarette lighter plug. The same plug you use to charge your phone, USB. Uh, 12 volt uh, plug well five volts. This actually puts out five volts. This plug right here puts out five volts This is the same plugs you use to charge your cell phone like your iPhone or Android stick it in here Use your uh, class C cable And everybody knows what a class C cable is I hope and it plugs right inside here on the left side Just like you charge from, from your computer Or you can use this plug right here. This is, puts out 12 volts. This right here, it came with the uh, jump starter. Now the USB cable, I'm not, sh I think it came with one, I can't be for sure, because I've had this unit like a year now. And you know, I don't remember what I unboxed came out of it. But it uses a Class C, I mean, not a Class C, but on this, this is the rounded end. The other way I just showed you from the auxiliary plug was, tw was five volts, same core, uh, Class C you'd use to charge your cell phone, but this is the one that came with it. See, it's round on the very end of this uh, adapter, this uh, charger. Plugs right into your cigarette lighter. This came with the jump starter. You plug it right into the round port on the very end of your jump starter. 
See that little round hole? That's where this wire goes right here. That wire right here goes in the round hole. Let me put the camera down on the back. Now, as you can see, I've got it plugged into the little round hole. And that supplies 12 volts, which will probably charge it faster. Just five volts. So I prefer if I was going to charge it from the car, I would use this one. This one comes with the unit. I'm not sure if it came in a Class C, like I said. One thing I would like to point out, okay, when you hook this up, the, of course your red, your red clamps goes to the positive side of your battery, where your red cable is to your battery. That's where your red clamps go. The black goes to your negative side of the battery, the neutral side. It does not automatically turn on. I think I said, I, I, I will say that later on the video, but it does not. Once you hook it up, this uh, button right here, the power button, let me get it out of the, the sun if I can. The power button right there is just to turn this unit on, like for the USB, to charge your uh, cell phone on the very end where I, where I will show you, where you have the little outlet, the USB, to charge your cell phones is in the very end. That, that's, this button right here, the power button, is only to turn this on for the flashlight or the USB to charge your phone. It turns the very end of this on, the unit itself, the power bank. When you hook the cables up to your battery to jump the car, you have to actually push the engine. That engine's not to override. That engine is to turn the unit on. See how that turns green? And then this unit starts clicking. It pre-warms the battery, and it, it will kick the bolts up to right at 16 to 15.5 to 16 bolts to crank your car. Uh, in shorts, uh, for six seconds, it will supply up to uh, 1,500 cranking amps every six seconds. And I don't know, can you hear it clicking? Let me be quiet. It's charging the battery. Okay. To buy, say if you got a battery that's completely dead in this car, any car, this unit has a safety built in and it, and it will not charge a completely dead battery unless you do this. When, you, when you've got this on, you push that engine, see right here, it's got a warning sign, like a, a heartbeat sign on a monitor. You push this right here. When you push this, it overrides the safety. That right there overrides the safety. And this light over here, Push it one more time, I'll show you. Okay, when you push that right there, that overrides the safety in this unit, and it will jump a completely dead battery. But to jump your uh, car, just push that right there. You hear it? And it, then if it does not crank the car, push the override, which is right there. Right there where the little signal is. Push that and let off. And it overrides the safety. Hope that hurt, helps somebody. And when you override the safety by pushing that little signal, it will jump a completely dead battery. One thing I'd like to say, when I was outside, the, the camera turned off. My battery, I guess, got low. And I had it hooked up to the battery. When you push this right here, the engine, you see how that, when you push this, we get it in the light. You see right there, when you push the engine and that turns green, when you push that engine, it is ready to go inside your car and, and turn the ignition switch. I always wait about 10 seconds when you push that engine. A lot of times it, it heats the battery inside the car. You will hear this clicking. I wait about 10 seconds, but this thing's powerful. Once you push the engine right there, so you push it to turn it off, push it to turn, push that engine that turns green right there at the little engine. You can go inside your car and crank, crank the car immediately. And then, like I said, if you got a completely dead battery, you push this right here, it overrides the uh, safety. and. And it will turn green on this side right here and you can go and it will jump a completely dead battery be sure and to turn the unit off you just push it again if if, if you're uh if you got it turned on when you push the engine it's green right there if you just want to go ahead and turn this off you just push this right there and it turns it off the engine again be sure to charge this uh lithium jump starter after every time you use it if you jump a car be sure to charge it and if you do not jump a car or you do not use it, be sure to charge this unit every three months. That's all you need to know. And I have jumped up to six cars without char charging this thing back. It's a powerful jump starter. It says it will jump up to 35 charges, 35 vehicles off one charge. I, I wouldn't doubt if it would. I have no doubt that it would. I've jumped six cars without charging it, no problem. Be sure to charge it after every use. Uh, and if you don't use it, charge it about every three months. Also... And, and on the end right here, let me show you. Let me pull this flap back open. Right there on the very right side is where you uh, can hook your USB cable right there, and you can charge your cell phone. 
I am very, very super impressed with this jump starter. Would I buy it again? Yes. Would I recommend it? Yes. When you're done uh, jumping your car and after you charge this uh, unit, put it in a nylon bag, the Schumacher nylon bag, slide it right underneath the back seat of your car or put it in the trunk. It stores away easily, a lot easier than the uh, big lift, uh, than the big lead acid jump starters. These portable jump starters, lithium, are powerful, very convenient, portable. They stick underneath the seats or in the trunks, out of the way, very easy. This is the little box it came in. Like I said, it says it will jump up to 8-point liter diesel engines, 6 point, I mean 6.0 liter diesel engines, 8.0 liter gas engines. I've jumped uh, several V8s with no problems. I jumped a 7.3 liter diesel, no problem. LED bright light is on the very end, like I showed you. Push the power button, hold, hold the power button for a few seconds. It turns the flashlight on. Push it again, it turns the flasher on, the emergency flasher, which will flash, like I showed you. And right here is where I was telling you, it has the pre-boost heating technology. It says pre-boost technology delivers a breakthrough advantage by safely adding a pre-charge to deeply discharged batteries. Pre-heating technology warms batteries in extreme cold, allowing ideal starting conditions. There you have it, one year warranty. I give it a 10, zero to 10. Thanks for watching my review of the Schumacher 1500 amp lithium rugged jump starter. I got to go right here on the Big O Show. Please leave those comments down below. Subscribe to my channel. I love everyone. Until next time, I will see you all on down the road.